now. Uh, we've had Black Pride and Trans Pride, and it was revealed this week that a charity wants to stage Britain's first Muslim LGBT festival. Uh, mm -hmm. Ria is with two people who think it's time for a change. I'm joined now by Asifa Lahore and Matt Mahood Ogston. Thank you for joining us today. Now, some people might say Pride is already an incredibly inclusive event. Why is there a need to create one specifically for Muslims? Um, the LGBT Muslim community in the UK feels very unheard. Its voice is very much not visible out there. Um, the community feels that, look, on one hand, Yes, we identify as LGBT, but we do receive a lot of Islamophobia and racism from within the LGBT community. Mm -hmm. And then on the other hand, we receive um, homophobia and transphobia from within our own Muslim communities. Mm -hmm. So it's very much a celebration and very much a call to arms of acceptance to show that, look, we are here. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're Muslim and we're queer as well. But is there a risk that by having your own standalone event that you kind of reinforce the idea that being gay and Muslim is, is different from the broader LGBT community? Um, I think, look, the LGBT community, we're not homogenous. There's so much diversity within the LGBT community. And actually, if we can have events like by Pride, like Black Pride, like London Pride, Birmingham Pride, then look, we should be able to have um, an LGBT Muslim Pride mm -hmm. um, because it just shows the diversity of both the British Muslim community as well as the LGBT community. Mm. And tell me from your experience, what's it like to be gay in the Muslim community? It's challenging. I mean, um, many people would say maybe I've had an easy ride, but the reality is that I've had, I say, the privilege of coming out twice. Mm. I've had lived experience of um, living as a gay man as well as transgender. Um, it's been challenging because you have to overcome um, barriers of the religion, of culture as well. Mm. Um, there is a lack of understanding of what it means to be LGBT plus in the Muslim community. But over the years, I've learned to marry both my identities. And I'm very proud of being both queer and Muslim, and also um, just being an intersectional British person. Mm. Now, Matt, your partner Naz was gay and Muslim, and he sadly took his own life back in 2014. Tell me, what are some of the challenges that the religious community face? Some of the challenges are if their family is not accepting of them because of their religious interpretation. The challenges are incredibly hard on that person because when they grow up to an age where they understand that they're gay and then they accept that they're gay and they can't change that, if the views of their family aren't accepting towards them, it creates an incredible, incredibly difficult um, barrier that prevents some people from moving forwards. Because if your own family can't accept you and you can't change your sexuality, which you can't because that's how you're, you're born with that, then where does that person go? Where does that, how does that person move forward? And that's why it's really important to have safe spaces like um, this um, you know, Muslim pride, where people can just be themselves and not feel like they're questioned. And in Naz's memory, you set up the Naz and Matt Foundation. Tell me about some of the work that you do. Yes, yeah, so our foundation, we go into schools, colleges, universities. Um, we've also given talks to police forces and public sector organisations and private organisations to tr try and create a better understanding within, within adults and within parents and within children as well that you are born the way that you are and if you're gay, you're born that way, you can't change that. So our foundation creates a, a more accepting narrative and it gives people the right tools to help them understand that there's nothing wrong with them. It's okay to be gay and Muslim, there's nothing wrong with that. It's fabulous, it's wonderful. Everyone should be accepting of each other for how they were born, for who they were born to be. Okay, well, thank you both for coming here today and for sharing your stories. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.